Hey guys, I'm Shreya. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you all had a great weekend. In my last video, I shared few simple tips to help you lose weight. If you have not watched the video yet, please do watch it. The link is in the description below. One of the subscribers had requested me to upload a non-vegetarian diet plan. So in today's video, I will be sharing a sample non-veg diet plan. So let's get started. Please do not follow this diet plan if you are pregnant or if you just had a baby. Or if you have not yet started solid foods for your baby, that means if you are only breastfeeding or in cases of any health issue, then it's always good that you consult your doctor before starting any diet plan. These are the measurement charts for your reference. So the first thing you need to do as soon as you wake up is to have a glass of warm water. This is very important because it is the best way to kickstart your metabolism and it also helps to detox your body. Drinking a glass of warm water on an empty stomach can also help you lose weight. If you don't like the taste of plain water, you can add lemon juice, honey, ginger or anything of your choice to make it more healthier and tastier. So this is the diet plan for week 1. After having a glass of warm water, you can have 4 peeled almonds that were soaked overnight because almonds contain a lot of healthy fats, fiber, protein, vitamin E which is good for your skin and hair and they also make you feel fuller thereby they can help you in weight loss. Then comes the very first meal of the day, breakfast. Try to have breakfast at least within an hour of waking up. Your breakfast should be filled with nutrients and proteins. Skipping your breakfast will always make you overweight. All that you eat for breakfast is converted into energy, so make sure you have a heavy breakfast. You can have somewhere around 400 to 450 calories for your breakfast. In this diet plan, I've mentioned one medium banana because bananas are rich in fiber and they are powerhouse of nutrients. They can also help in digestion and help you lose weight. 3 whole grain bread slices because they are good source of vitamin B and they can help control weight. 1 egg, you can have boiled egg or scrambled egg or anything of your choice. Eggs are super nutritious food and they are a great way to increase your HDL cholesterol. These are filled with proteins and they can also make you feel fuller thereby helping you to lose weight. Don't skip the egg yolk, don't worry, it won't affect your weight loss process. In fact, egg yolks are filled with nutrients, so make sure to make this a part of your diet. Then you can have a cup of tea or coffee or any drink that you prefer. Once you're done with your breakfast, say around 8 to 8.30, you can keep a gap of 2 to 2 and a half hours. And then maybe around 11 to 11.30, you can have a cup of yogurt with fruits. Yogurt is rich in important nutrients and adding fruits to it makes it even more healthier. It contains a lot of calcium which is very important to maintain healthy teeth and bones. After a gap of 2 hours, you can have your lunch. Your lunch should include vegetables, brown rice. It's always good that you eat brown rice because white rice can make you fat whereas brown rice is filled with fiber. Eating brown rice can also help you lose weight. There are different varieties of brown rice. You can go for whichever you want. In my diet plan, I've mentioned beetroot curry because beetroots are low in sodium and fat. They're even very good for pregnant women because they're rich in folic acid. Beetroot also lowers your blood pressure and controls blood sugar. So if you're suffering from diabetes or blood pressure, then beetroot is the right option for you. Along with a bowl of curry and rice, you can have some steamed vegetables or raw vegetables or you can have chicken or fish or lean meat, anything of your choice. Then comes your evening snack. For this, you can have a fruit or you can have nuts or if you're having biscuit, maybe you can have around two to three low-fat biscuits. Here I've mentioned one orange and walnuts. Oranges are very rich in vitamin C and walnuts are very good for your heart. Walnuts contain healthy fat and they also help to raise your HDL cholesterol. You can have your evening snack around 4.30 to 5 and then you can keep a gap of 2 to 3 hours. And then comes the last meal of your day, dinner. 
it's always good that you develop the habit of having early dinner keep your dinner light and healthy here i've mentioned half bowl chicken gravy without skin because chicken skin can make you fat chicken is rich in protein then you can have a cup of brown rice and then a cup of salad it can be any vegetable salad or a mixed vegetable salad before going to bed you can have a cup of warm milk try to avoid sweets or any kind of snacks at night because all that you eat will be converted to fat for breakfast you can aim around 400 to 450 calories similarly for lunch and dinner you should keep it very light the approximate calorie in week 1 diet plan is around 1690 here's the diet plan for week 2 Before breakfast you can have 3 peeled almonds soaked overnight and 2 walnuts. For breakfast you can have 1 cup sliced papaya. These are very healthy and very delicious. Papayas are also rich in antioxidants. Then you can have 5 idlis, steamed rice cake. This is one of the healthiest breakfast. You can have idlis with half cup of vegetable sambar and then you can have tea, coffee or any drink of your choice. As a mid-morning snack you can have dates and tender coconut water. Dates are rich in iron and they also have natural sugar and even tender coconut water contains natural sugars, minerals and vitamins. But if you're suffering from diabetes or any other health condition then it's better that you consult your doctor before consuming these. Then for lunch you can have a cup of brown rice with fish curry. Choose a fish which is rich in omega-3 fatty acid. As a mid-evening snack you can have a glass of buttermilk or you can have uh, biscuits or tea or coffee. Buttermilk is low in fat and it's also very good for digestion. For dinner you can have two whole grain chapatis with one cup of moong dal palak curry. After having dinner if you feel like eating anything or drinking anything you can have milk or you can have any fruit of your choice or you can have some nuts the approximate calories in week 2 diet plan is around 1520 This is the week 3 diet plan before breakfast you can have 5 to 6 mixed nuts then for breakfast you can have a cup of vegetable upma These are very healthy and tasty and also low in calories. Then you can have a bowl of curd and any drink of your choice. Here I have mentioned a fruit smoothie. You can have tea, coffee or anything that you want. Then as a mid-morning snack, you can have a boiled egg, very healthy and very nutritious. Then for lunch, you can have one cup brown rice with grilled chicken breast rich in protein and you can have half a cup of sprouts curry you can have mixed sprouts curry or you can choose any sprout of your choice and you can make a curry out of it then as a mid evening snack you can have peanut or til chikki then for dinner you can have vegetable stuffed chapati or paratha with raita and a few carrot slices carrots are very rich in vitamin a and very healthy Then post dinner you can have a cup of warm milk or any fruit of your choice or anything which is low calorie healthy and tasty. The approximate calories in week 3 diet plan is around 1604. If you want different varieties each day then these are some of the breakfast options. and these are some of the lunch and dinner options So this is the 3 week diet plan you can alter it according to your needs I hope today's video was helpful to you for best results make sure to follow this with exercise If you guys have any questions or suggestions you can write to me at mumsworld24@gmail.com or you can send me messages on my Facebook page In my next video I will be sharing a diet plan for the vegetarians so please stay tuned and also wishing you and your family a very happy and safe Diwali So I'll see you next week until then take care bye bye